COVID-19, and now radiologists are seeing an uptick in breast uptick in breast cancer cases, likely in part due to delayed imaging. Here today to talk about the importance of screening and not delaying one's mammogram due to the pandemic and the vaccine is Dr. Diana James, the director of breast imaging at Jefferson Radiology and Hartford Hospital. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. It's so important. I had my mammogram today. So how has the pandemic <laughs> impacted the diagnosis of breast cancer? Well, we've been seeing an alarming trend. Uh, so we've been looking at our statistics from 2019 and comparing them to 2020 and then the first half of this year. And unfortunately, we're seeing about 50% more cancers uh, in those women that come into the office for evaluation. Now, those could be patients that had either an abnormal mammogram or coming in because of a clinical issue like a new breast lump. Uh, but it's a pretty scary trend. It seems to be probably real, unfortunately. I had to wait to get an appointment and drive 30 extra miles, but I felt like it was important to try to get it the closest to my year. All right, let's talk about the vaccine and the booster shot. How did they affect a patient's mammogram results? So in about 10% of patients, uh, they see swelling under the arm on the same side that they got the shot. Um, and that swelling is just some of the lymph nodes reacting to the vaccine. It's a normal, you know, biologic response. If you then go on to get your mammogram or your screening ultrasound, for example, we might see what we think are abnormal lymph nodes. And they actually look pretty similar to lymph nodes that we see sometimes with breast cancer. So those women will be put in a follow-up protocol and they'll need to have ultrasound evaluations every few months to make sure the lymph nodes go back to normal. So that's the biggest change. Uh, we were advising patients in the beginning of this year not you know, to kind of schedule the mammogram first and then do the vaccine or the booster. Most women don't have this reaction, so I don't think it's necessary to schedule it like that. You know, if you're late for your mammogram, I think you want to just try to get it as soon as you can. Uh, and most women won't have this reaction. But if you do have it, it's no big deal. We know how to take care of it at this point. All right, last question. Is there a certain amount of time patients should wait to get a mammogram after getting a vaccine and or booster? So if everything's already lined up, and as you know, the appointments are sometimes difficult, you know, you should wait four to six weeks after that shot. That's a good window. Most patients will see their lymph nodes uh, back to normal in that time frame. All right, and quick last bit of advice for women who've been putting off their mammogram. I would just say, you know, please grab a friend, grab a mom, a sister, you know, get that appointment. Uh, you want to also make sure you're keeping up with all of your primary care appointments, your OBGYN appointments. I think a lot of us have put things off during the pandemic. I know I was guilty in 2020 myself. You know, we want to just, everybody just has to get back on track. It's safe to go back for these appointments. All right, Dr. Diana James, thank you.